So here we go. This is my um, favorite folding sequence. You might know it or know parts of it. So let's just start, shall we? Um, white side up, fold in half, make a triangle. Pretty standard beginning. And again, this way. So two diagonals and then a corner to the middle, spin it round, same on the opposite corner. Okay, so fairly standard beginning and then a move that I really like, <clears throat> you turn over, not that move, and, <laughs> and then the folded edge flips to the centre and bing, the triangle flips <clears throat> to the front. It's, there's something very satisfying about that, really lovely to do. And again, of course, on the other side, here we go. Flip it again, and like that. Now, <clears throat> I just like this arrangement of colours and whites. There's something very satisfying about it to me. Just very pleasing, this arrangement. Turn over, just white. Fold in half now across the middle doesn't look very promising does it it's not the kind of thing you would think oh yes I must do that as a way to make a model anyway from here the bottom edge on one side folds up to the center line it's a bit strange and again on this side and then another of those lovely moves that I so enjoy with this model and this sequence open them and then open this pocket and if you Put your fingers into the top it'll open and fall downwards and all the color disappears <laughs> which always surprises me so where's the color gone <laughs> so it was there a moment ago turn it over there it is and now we do the same thing we have mountain folds at the moment we have to make them again as valleys so just fold up on one side and again on the other Something very natural and kind of flowing about all this. You don't have to contrive anything. It just seems natural what we do. Put these two triangles down again and open the pocket and again open it and all the colour disappears and we match what's on the other side. All the colour is gone and we just have this white shape the same on both sides. I love that transformation. So now we're going to make it smaller with a series of folds. There's a mountain fold here you can see. Turn it to a valley and just fold, fold the corner to the middle. And we begin to see some of the colour again, say on this side, so left and right. And again with the bottom corner, fold that in. So most of the colour has disappeared. And now, sorry, sorry most of the white has disappeared because we can see the colour. And then finally fold this over and all the white has disappeared. Turn over and we do the same thing. So again left and right to the centre point and we leave these triangles here in the middle sticking out. So first one side then the other side. That's not quite straight. There we go. Better. And the bottom corner. And finally, all the white disappears and the papers become very small and rather thick with all these layers here in the middle. Something very nice about this shape as well, just for what it is. OK, now we're going to move the layers around a little bit. So we open it out to this point and then fold the white edge to the centre. Well, it doesn't seem very promising, does it, when you do that? Fold it to the middle. Same on the other side. Try and get them to match. The paper now is getting very thick, especially at this point, just here. Smaller and smaller all the time. <clears throat> like this, turn over. <clears throat> and now we rotate both at the same time. So again, one of those lovely, satisfying moves and this makes what's been described as 
the belt and buckle because that's kind of how it looks. So we open it out. Rather an extraordinary illusion as though you have this belt going through the square buckle. <laughs> it's amazing isn't it? Of course it doesn't really work, it is just an illusion but it's a remarkable thing. Okay so having made the paper quite small we can now begin to open it so open one side, open the other side, and then on just one side only, open this corner, and here on the other side, fold in half. So, it's still very abstract, isn't it? You've no idea what's going on here, but there's, like I said before, something very inevitable about this sequence. And finally, we fold in half. Now, if you know origami, you'll know this is what's popularly known as the Chinese junk or the treasure ship and it's in this flat form at the moment which doesn't look very promising but we need to open it into 3D and this is the magic at the end. So we don't hold this belt, we hold uh, uh, this buckle part as it was and we can just pull, I'm going to pull the right side out so there it goes and then just just help it to be a little flatter and a little better and now I can open the other side to hold the belt this time and pull that out and just organize the paper it tends to be a little messy when you've done that just, just organize the paper organize this bottom of the boat a bit better and make some flatter triangles so we have a kind of hexagon here that's on the bottom can you see that and this is then the other side and it's locked into this wonderful sculptural form. Now one of the things I like about this is that you put it down and it basically falls over. This is something for the hand. So again it kind of reinforces that, that handmade aspect that this is not a model to display necessarily, it's something to fold. However you can display it, here's a little simple zigzag, you see that? And you can put it kind of in the middle, which way around, maybe this way around, and it will then stand very nicely, except you can't see that very well, so I'll move the camera, here we go, a little wobble, a bit of a mess on the table, and you can see now very nicely there what it looks like. It's an absolute masterpiece, I think. The sequence is beautiful, and the finished result, very three-dimensional, beautiful organisation of forms and interior spaces. I just love that. It's an absolute masterpiece in my opinion. So thank you very much and I'll see you next time.